Hi, I'm Shane Boxland, Product Development Engineer with Quick Attach. Today we'll be talking about our grapple bucket for mini loaders. The backbone of this bucket is the inch and a half square tube that runs the full width of the bucket. This is going to give you a really stiff backbone from which to mount your grapples and cylinders to. Uh, a lot of other buckets out on the market you'll see just use formed sheet metal and we don't think that's strong enough so we've used square tubing to run the full width. The grapples on this bucket are plumbed to operate independently. That means that you can grab uneven objects and still secure them well in the bucket. The grapples are 10 and a half inches wide and approximately 22 inches long. The grapples are constructed of 3 8 inch plate steel. We also have 3 8 inch plate gussets at the front and the tip of the grapple, as well as a full length bushing. The full length bushing is important because when you grease this, it's going to give a lot of wear surface. It's a lot stronger than just using two separate bushings on each side. We also have a piece of square tubing that runs through the middle and this is going to give it extra rigidity and help resist that twisting motion that might happen if you pinch something on just one tooth. These grapples are really capable because of the two inch cylinder we're using on each one of them to clamp them shut. And I wanted to show you that the opening on each side is over 27 inches between the cutting edge tip and the tip of the grapple. So I went ahead and closed the grapples here so that you could see how close we're bringing the tips right out to the edge of the cutting edge. Uh, you want your grapples to clamp onto the cutting edge or very close to the end because that gives you more dexterity. It, it, it enables you to um, go over the top of some objects like logs and pinch them and actually scoop them up into the opening in the bucket. And I wanted to point out that the end plates here are cut out uh, specifically so that you can carry things such as logs that stick out beyond the width of the bucket. So I wanted to point out some of the features of the bucket construction. Starting in the front, we have a cutting edge that's half inch by four. So this is a very uh, beefy cutting edge for a mini bucket. We are using ribs underneath to support the bottom side of the bucket as well as support the cutting edge and act as a wear surface. The cutting edge itself is about 24 inches from the heel of the bucket. So that gives you a lot of uh, length up front, which really helps when it comes to visibility from the operator station. That's important if you're doing uh, cutting or grading of any kind. You want to be able to see where your cutting edge is at. The ribs on either end are made up of 3 8 inch plate steel. They're one solid piece from the grapple pivot all the way down to the cylinder pivot and out to the cutting edge. Uh, because they're one piece, that means that they're going to be really strong, really consistent in s size and shape and strength. That's going to give us uh, the strength that we need out at the cutting edge when we're doing a hard cutting or prying at a corner. You'll notice that the body of the bucket is one continuous formed piece of steel. This is going to give a lot of consistency, a lot of strength in the bucket. Uh, other buckets might be made up of uh, multiple pieces that are welded together. Uh, we went ahead and did it out of one solid piece. They also incorporate a hole and this hole is used for the optional tooth bar that can be bolted to the front of the bucket. On the cutting edge we have holes for optional bolt-on teeth and also they are used for an optional bolt-on cutting edge if you want to have two cutting edges on your bucket. The second cutting edge is uh, nice if you're in, in an environment that has a lot of abrasion like scraping on concrete. It also adds some extra rigidity to the front of the cutting edge. So one of the points I want to make about this grapple bucket is that it operates just like a regular bucket and it's kind of gives you an extra dimension when you have the grapples on it. So yesterday when we were doing some testing here we showed cutting into dirt and grading some dirt back dragging. It operates just like any other dirt bucket and that's really nice to be able to have the extra added features of a grapple uh, if you're working in uh, landscaping or co uh, construction or demolition or something like that. You can still use this like a regular bucket and that's really nice to have. I hope you've enjoyed the video we've made of this grapple bucket for mini loaders. Be sure to check back as we make more videos like this. As always, give us a call or check out our website if you have any questions.